In this video, I will show you how we're going to make a time selection of the master track using those automation breakpoints that we put in in the previous video. Remember how we cleaned up the front and the end? Now we're going to make a time selection of that, save it in a memory location, talk about stem mixes a little bit, and show you how to do some basic ones and why they can be important in the mastering process and why some mastering engineers request them. Let's now see how we're going to get all of these tracks to one file or separate stem files for the mastering. This is what we call bounce to disk or bouncing the mix down. Let's get started. This is what I usually see going on. I see the Pro Tools user, they'll go in and they'll highlight from beginning to end, make sure they have all the tracks selected. And what most users think, you have to highlight all the tracks to incorporate them into the bounce. Not true. You only have to highlight the master fader. It's just a time selection. Let's make this track a little larger so we can view it better. Now I'd like to highlight from exactly the beginning of that master fader automation point all the way to the end of that master fader automation point. That will give us the time selection of the mix to be bounced. If I did not highlight the master fader, the bounce would just keep on going after the song was over and never stop. Let's play a little bit, make sure the front's good. Uh, was that cut off? Uh, let me play it again. No, that, that's fine, just to make sure. Can you see now how only the master track has to be selected from the beginning to end in order to incorporate all of the tracks in the bounce? What constitutes the tracks getting to the bounce file is that they're all selected to the same output path. In this case, it would be out A1 and 2. Now that we have the master fader highlighted from beginning to end, I'd like to put that in a memory location. Hit enter on the keyboard, brings up the memory location dialog, but by default in Pro Tools, it's set to marker. Let's switch that to selection. Remember how we want a time selection as a memory location and not a marker? Type in BNC, that's just what I like to do, short for bounce. And you can also type in on the bottom there in the comment view. So let's just put in song bounce uh, one, that'll be fine. Now it's really easy to get that selection back again whenever we want it just by going to the memory location window and clicking bounce and it's there for us all the time you see this now it's right there bounce if i unhighlight and go over again we can do other things and then right back to memory location select hit bounce and there it is all selected for us perfectly from the beginning breakpoint to the end breakpoint there's no second guessing that'll always be there for us whenever we need it and now when we bounce to disk all of these individual files will be contained in one file, either a stereo interleaved file or a multi-mono file, one left, one right. But there is some other situations where mastering engineers request stem mixes. Making a stem mix is pretty easy. All you have to do is solo tracks that you want included or mute tracks that you want excluded. We will be soloing tracks to make our stem mix here. Let's say we want the drums and the bass as a rhythm section. That would be one stem mix. That would be one bounced file containing the bass and drums as a rhythm section. Let's play a little bit of it and I'll show you what I mean. See, so audibly, all we heard was the bass and drums. That stem mix would just contain the bass and drums. And you're probably thinking, well, why would a mastering engineer just want the bass and drums? Well, we're not just going to do one stem mix. We're going to maybe create another one by soloing the lead instruments. Let me just unsolo the rhythm section now and move over and do another stem mix. Scroll down a bit and let's maybe do the guitar, keyboards, percussion, and lead saxophone. Play a little bit and make sure that's what I want. And yeah, add the percussion. So whatever instruments were just being heard, they will be in a separate file bounced together as a stem. 
Then by taking both the stem mixes, the rhythm section one and the lead instrument one that we were just soloing, and putting those together at unity gain, meaning both faders at the same level, it would recreate the sum of our total mix. Now let me unsolo these tracks, go to the memory location window, select bounce, and there we have it. Our selection on the master fader is set, and all I would have to do is bounce the disc. Stem mixes will give you the option of changing some balances at the mastering if you do not have the luxury like we did here of having the mix available to us. In the next video, we will open up the bounce to disc window and go through all of the settings that are in there and why it's so critical to have them all set correctly.